Yo, what is up, you guys? It is your boy, Suplex, and we are here live on TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch for the return of Matt Base Combat Homecoming. This is a long time in the making. Our first show running Matt Base Combat on the WWE 2K22 engine. I am beyond excited. For this show and i'm not alone i'm here with my commentary partners and good friends starting down the line alejandro which alejandro dane with the sauce and fellow tiktoker good friend alex ladies and gentlemen alex Vatoloco here joining my buddy suplex for this monumental moment and man we got a great show for you here tonight starting off with one of our matches a tag team match Ring Doyen, Kuro Shonen, and Suji Goda versus the Royal Winds, Sukun Kaze, and King. We also have a dream match that I've been clamoring to see for such a long time. We have Evil versus DC Zam Chan. Hell yeah. Love dream it. match, oh, baby. I've been wanting to see that one for a long time. And then Dawson Ivy Cyrus Kennedy is coming back from his film career with an open challenge. Dick got the open challenge. Mr. Dick got the challenge. Then we have a tag team cage match between the four ladies of Wonderweight, Map Ace Combat, Hiromi Gozen, and Maki Kishimoto go toe to toe with Kitsuya and Shayna. Love it. Yeah. And then the main event of the evening a triple threat match of high stakes. We have Matthias Metalhead versus Matsuda Tanaka versus the homecoming hero, Jin Kaze. A stupendous yeah. triple threat. Oh my god. We got all that aboard here tonight, but let's get underway with the first match. We got some young lions returning from excursion. Let's get into it. Woo! Whoa. Who's this? Let's see. Oh! We have Yoshihiro Kawada here, fresh off of his excursion here in the United States. But let's take a look at Yoshihiro Kawada pre-excursion. Oh my baby. god, look at him. Look at how look how young he used to look. Oh, right here. But we all remember Yoshida Kawada back in his young lion days. He was the big guy. The big boots yeah. the young lion class. I, endor hey, I endorsed Kawada to the highest degree. This man is a giant behemoth. Before leaving on excursion. He got into some trouble backstage. The young America, Cubs. Got into it with I mean, he's games. like 27. He is young. That we yeah, that's pretty young. Unfortunately, he was kicked out. He, 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 he ain't like, he ain't Vince Young, but he's young. But he was allowed to still do the rest of his excursion. But him, I endorsed him so much during his early days. And his transformation is phenomenal. And, uh, that's he finally he found a persona other than being just a giant behemoth. Hey, listen, this man did his excursion here in the United States, and you're hearing that big ovation here. Here, live in Tampa, Florida. Digging the tats he has in his head. I'm digging it, too. I'm digging it, too. The man's feeling himself. Digging new look, too. Hey, if this doesn't scream America, I don't know what else it does. You could say he has the homecoming advantage. Get it? Yeah. No, stop it. No. All right, all right. All right. Oh, yeah. Send this man home. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, anyway, his opponent is someone he knows very much. They train together. They've had matches together. They've ate together. The one in oh, let, let, let the manager do some. Let the manager do some. So dark here. What? What the hell? Lightning? A what? Wait. What? Huh? Oh, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive! The one and only. Sinister. Shujinko. What an entrance. 
man. Yeah, the former Shujinko Hirano. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. But, man, I'm mesmerized. Shujinko Let me tell you that much. Very different. Yeah. I asked him to make me a that is not Shujinko uh, from Bell. Oh, my God. That's whole. him. Back him in the flesh. Yep. Day, and, day and night. He weirded out by this kid. It's hard to believe. This is who he is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and look, that's the shy moment right there. Of all the young lions, no. he is the one that said he actually has a win over a Matt Beast kind of roster yeah, member. Duke Gale. That's pretty big. That's hey, pretty big. Hey, and he was hey, able to find his way. Oh, he's Hey, yeah. think of it like this, guys. Really the fact that when he was a young lion, he pinned a main story. roster member, regardless of who he was. I know it was Duke Gailey, but he still beat a you know, the main event guy. Pinning, and listen, he pinned him with event. his yeah, Duke Gailey of hijinks. Might see that tonight. Not to mention, Duke Gailey is a never a six a champion, never six man tag team champion, future Hall of Famer. He almost won that battle royal one time. Yes, he did. Hey, well, you know, sadly, they were supposed to have a match against Gay Ash at Wrestle Kingdom, and that got cut due to time constraints. You got to imagine he eats that Sinister Jujinko every day because he pinned Duke Gailey and earned that match for his team, oh, yeah. for Kawhi, well, yeah. and didn't get it. Yeah, on the biggest stage, your match getting cut, that's terrible. Hey, well, I imagine, imagine. right here in front of 50,000 fans, this is might be a bigger stage than that. Yeah, that, this, this is, is his Wrestle Kingdom. His this match never coming. should have been cut. Here we go, guys. guys. First match back. Citizen Sujinko right versus Yoshi yeah. Okawara. Nice takedown. Beautiful head toss takedown. And listen, Dead we've box. seen these two men work during map based combat as young lions. I think we all can wait. Sujinko. Oh, 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 oh okay. Missed. That reverse, that reverse roll in the senton did not work. I mean, he really turned his back a bit too early. Thing. Now, I think we do got to mention the fact that Sujinko and, and Yoshida Kawada have had about 33 matches against each other. And Yoshida Kawada has won every single one of them. Every one. All 33 of them. He's and I think stuff like that, going for, oh, DDT counter. Ooh. Going for dives and missing is going to be the reason why you lose this match. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm yeah. still, oh, Biden got the fingers. Oh, my God. I think they call him Sinister for a reason. And look at that. Biting got the fingers again. I don't know how yeah, legal this yeah. is, but there's definitely something sinister about that. And then using the fingers to catapult him into the air. Nice. Monkey flip. I should just go to the top. top yeah. Was this? Coffin drop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shades of Darby yeah. Allen. Yeah. So Jenko looks to be the one standing tall so far. Something unusual we see in their matches a lot. Hey, this is a no, new face of Shujinko. Hey, here's the thing with it, guys. When 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 Kawada won those matches, he was still a relatively young lion. So we don't know what the uh, what is what Shujinko's excursion did to him. Oh, a Spanish no. fly! Yeah, Spanish well, fly. Uh, well, Alex, you wouldn't know. I mean, he did his excursion to Mexico. I mean, even though Yoshida Kawada did his in the states, um, okay. yeah, Shujinko was south the of the border. No, you're you're right. You see, here's the thing, though. The Lucha style as oh, promised. Oh, oh, big moonsault. Like that moonsault was beautiful, as I was saying. Even though he did his decision in, in Mexico, Kawada did it. He, you could tell that he did that brute style, but he was straight that Americans right, are known taunting. for. Up, oh, turned your back. See what I mean? A taunting Unless you share, unless you share, power bomb. Oh, I had to throw a power bomb. Did a power bomb in another ring. One, two. two. Ooh, Ooh, look at that. Already so two close. Counts, okay? First two count of the match. See, this is what happens. He's getting too cocky. He has to stop getting beside right. himself. Top this, rope again. This is your time to finally get that win. You can't be getting off. aside yeah. of yourself because you have. I know oh. this is the biggest audience for them. I get it. Uh. I get it. Wait. Okay. Now he has him up this time. Look there at the power. With the suplex. With the suplex. He's taunting. Delayed. Oh, Ooh. delayed vertical suplex. Showing out the strength. Now we're starting to see Yoshida Kawada get the advantage here. All it took was a few slip ups. Ooh. Yeah, and you see now the crowd slightly the more behind oh. Kawada, who has that hometown advantage, having his excursion in the States. One. Nope. So here we go. I think these guys are a little braggadocious, because remember, like you said, Wait, in oh, Wrestle oh, Kingdom, oh, got, their oh, match got oh, cut through time okay. constraints. So right now, this is a lot for him. He's getting a little bit too cocky there, but 
in the early going here, if we had to give a give an early prediction, who do you guys got? Now, I think for me, it's it's very easy. I'm going with Kawada here. I'm going with Second the safe bet too. Kawada is thirty. Kawada's thirty-three and zero against Chujiko, so it's an obvious pick. I mean, come on, root for the underdog, which is Chujiko. Yeah, underdog all the way. So it looks like we're tied here, two and two. I would love to root for Shijinka, but if he keeps on doing stuff like this, it ain't going to work. That's kind of working. Hey, working. Hey, 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 they're too excited. Remember, Kingdom, at Wrestle Kingdom, the match got cut, so they're excited for this matchup. There's that inside the out there. But that Tiger yeah. Driver, he's going to the top. What is this? What are you doing? I don't know. He's, he he's waiting. He's top. scouting. Taking too much time he's, here. He's doing. This is big brain. I don't know. Co oh! oh! Coffin drops to the back! Oh, that was beautiful. One, one, two, two. Two. Oh, that oh, was that close. Was three. What? That was close. That, uh, I, you got to imagine that takes a little bit out of Shijinko himself. Might be going for the white queen here. Go for the white. Uh -oh. oh! She caught to the nope. foot. Oh, Into oh, a powerbomb. Oh. Powerbomb counter beautifully executed. Elbow, elbow drop! Big elbow. Ooh. Now you see Yoshida Kawada having that big strength advantage. Chujinko obviously having the big speed advantage. Drop again. Elbow drop again. Obviously Another you can measure again. out which one is more superior. Oh, a senton of his own. Jeez. Yeah, we're starting to see a big flurry of offense here from Yoshida Kawada. Ooh. Now also that take into account in. here that these men not only want an excursion, but they've been training with other members of the map based combat roster. Shujinko having more of a hand training with Ragnarok, with Theus Metalhead, Alpha, Beta. Oh, right back up to his feet. And Yoshi oh. Kawada having more of a training in Ming Doyen with Matsuda Tanaka, Suji Good, and Battery Bradshaw. So take. Oh, oh my god, up to his feet already! Oh, oh damn. Oh, oh snap. Oh, look at those punches. Oh, Blocked. Hard nope. By Shujinko. Sling Blade. Roll through. Uh -huh. Right into a drop kick. Up to his oh. feet again! Ooh. Oh, Look whoa. at that! What the hell? Oh shit! I'm on his shoulders! Into a centaur! Yeah! Wait, 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 he's going to the top? Alright. Kawada's going to the top. He's shaking what his head no. Do? I'd shake my head too if I was up that high. Yeah, that's a bad idea. That's a big that's guy, big. I don't know. Oh, uh, what are we wait, doing? Oh, see, I, that, oh, that was his mistake. Ooh, hey, that was an error on his part. Is he capitalize? Turning around. Oh, oh dropping the knee! Nice. Oh my god. He had a big offense going in, but going to the top row, he tried to mimic Shujinko there. You are not the speed yeah, guy. The Stay to the mat. Big, big elbow right to the face. Look, he rocked in there. Took him down to one hand and a punch right to the face. Ooh. Ooh. Seeing a lot of elements of Battery Bradshaw in this young kid. Big elbows to the face. Another elbow to the face. There you go. Oh, Once again, so you, know, you, know, punch. Punch. So you know that's gotta hurt. Oh, that punch. <sighs> Big flex. Big boy energy. Yeah. He's letting him get to his feet. Oh, strong Jesus! Oh. 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 Big strong boy. Yeah, big energy. I don't know. I mean, it's getting a little half and up. half here, but whenever I see offense from Yoshiro Kawada, it feels more like the end than is the beginning. Oh, my God. Oh. Staying up. Okay, bump into each other. Getting out of the way. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Takes him down. See, Jenko was standing his ground. At least for a hot second he was. He's oh. going for another another delayed suplex. Yep, he's walking around, walking around. I don't know. Who is the best thing in this match? Oh. Do you have a mind? Going for a nope. Jenko. Kicks him down. Doesn't oh, stay. Oh. oh, fake oh. DDT. Nice. For the pin. Uno. One. One. Oh. Oh, oh, one up to his that feet. was close to the ropes, too. Missed oh, oh. Up his feet. He oh. takes him down right into a bulldog position. He nails it. Beautiful. Kawada still getting up. Oh, damn. He kicked to the chest. You see, Kawada's getting up a lot more, having a lot more fighting spirit. Yeah. But I also mean he's going down a lot more. So, tell you, do with that what you want. Oh. Over the top rope. Going outside the ring. I don't really know who the outside benefits more. I think no, Shijinko. Yeah. You think it's so? It's a luchador, bro. I think Kawada, honestly. Shijinko's well, a more avant-garde style. I could definitely see it benefiting him more. 
don't yeah, know. Given that, Ameri- uh, given that American background, that American excursion, maybe that Bruiser style will benefit Kawada. I mean, if he does power moves like power bombs, follow away slams on the mat or on the steel steps, it'll benefit Kawada. But as far as I see it right now, it's benefiting Shujinko even more. Shujinko running him. Oh, right into the barricade. He likes violence. Sure does. I think that's why we put the sinister in his name. Yes, sir. Right in his face, too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, look at this combination. Oh, a Pele oh, kick. Oh, a Pele kick. Damn. Damn. Rock. Ole, nice combination. Ole, 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 ole. Referee at seven. Shujinko's in the ring. He's going to wait. Oh, my lord. What are you doing? Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. This, Bad idea. this is going to be the downfall of this kid. No. Hey, Yoshino Kawada taking Keep him outside the, the ring. Rope. Oh, he got right back up from that. Okay. I don't think he liked that too much. I don't, like he, I don't think he likes being upstage. No! Kawada no, getting out of the ring. Doing? That's smart. What are you guys doing? Oh, there. Kawada outsmarted him. Ooh. Got outside there the ring. So go. Oh, wait. Might be going for the Tectonic oh. Killer. He's going for the Tectonic Killer. No, stop no. by nope. Shijinko. Oh, be counted in. Oh, right. No, stop by Kawada. Trading blows back oh. and forth. Who's going to get the they upper hand here? Way yeah. too oh, well. Look at these back and forth. Look at this. X Factor. X Factor, baby. One. Oh, kick out of two. one. Ooh. That's a one. Jesus Christ. Two. What a match we're seeing between these two in the very Ever. opening match of Map Face Combat Homecoming. Look at the audience. Hey, look at the oh, audience. Oh, Wheelbarrow Rana. Another Wheelbarrow Rana. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, look at that beautiful Ooh. wheelbarrow runner. Wheelbarrow stunner this oh, time. Oh, that chin breaker. That chin buster. That chin buster was amazing. Kawada's up. Wait. Oh, misses. Oh, Immediately going up. Oh, oh no. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Moonsault. Oh, Kawada's good. up. Uh, uh, no moonsault. Jesus Ooh. Christ. He's never going at 100 miles per hour, I feel like. That's punch. Kick. Kick. Punch. Wait, wait. Kick. He gets him up. Tiger Driver hits it! There you go. That could be that it. Tiger that Tiger Bomb. That Tiger Bomb. One, two, one. one oh, two, when one. he kicks out. Oh my god. Again. So close. I thought that was for sure it. Well, he's going for the top rope. What's he going to hit? Oh, wait. Nah, he took too long. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he, didn't he, didn't him. he didn't knock him down. Oh, big clothesline in the corner. Oh, that lariat was beautifully done. I'll be setting up for that leaping bomber very soon. Oh, Dark Thunder. Whoa. He's dazed and confused. I'm still kind of dazed, dazed him. Dragon Gosh, Suplex. The Tiger Suplex. The Tiger. My bad, my bad. Wait a minute. What is this? Takedown. STF applied. Yes, Shades of Bad War no. Bradshaw here. We're seeing Ring doing coming in clutch here. Oh, is Sujinka going to tap? He's tapped out to Kawada many times before. Will he tap out this time? He's tapping. He's tapping. Super Kawada. Super Kawada. Kawada gets up. Cut. Ah, Sujinka gets out of it. There we go. Wait, Sujinka. Wait, he's going for Boston Crab. Yes. Oh, my. Boston Crab. That is a staple move of the Young Lions. How I embarrassing would it be move. if Shujinko were to tap out Kawada here? He's crawling. Into a Boston crowd. Oh, yeah, what he has to say? It's one of the first stick. moves you learn. It's one of the first hit. moves you learn. Kawada, he's staying in it for as long as he can. Kawada gets out of it. Oh, Nothing. man. Nothing. Leaping Bomber. Jeez. Oh, I forget how beautiful that looks, the Leaping Bomber. He's got him up on his shoulders for a Tectonic Killer, maybe? Powerbomb. Sitting him into the corner. What? I don't what's he know. Doing? That's a smart idea. Oh, he's planning something. Superplex. Wait, wait, what's he planning? Superplex. Superplex. Oh. oh. She just goes up. What? What in the? Wheelbarrow Rana. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely hurt. Wait hurt. a minute. High jinks. High jinks. Uh, One. What? Two. What? Two. Oh, oh, he kicks out. Oh, oh my God. The high jinks did not work. Holy oh. shit. Damn. This is crazy. Wait. Wait, what a way up. to open up homecoming. Tectonic killer! Oh, oh. Tectonic killer! One, two! Oh, and he kicks out! Oh, oh. 
Oh, are you? God. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wait a minute, he's gonna come up. Don't be joking me. Tectonic I'm rolling Tectonic Keller! One! Two! Kawada gets it! Ooh. Hard fought match. Can we say 34 and 0? American Championship. Yoshihito. He was this close. He was this close. An amazing match to start off the show, but Kawada keeps the streak alive. 34 0. And is now contending for the new World of Sports North America Championship, which we will be seeing later on in Map Age Combat USA. What a match to start off this show. Yeah, Amazing. that was a great yeah, start. Magnificent. We're getting Beautiful. into the next here one go. here. A tag team match. Ring Doyen, Kuroshioto, and Suji Gota versus the Royal Winds, Sukunkaze, and King. Let's get underway. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Picture perfect. Throw them up, boys. Tag team match scheduled for one fall. Representing the prodigies at a combined weight of 500 pounds. The team of Supan Kaze and King, they are. The Royal Wins! The Royal these Wins. Two, these two individuals trying to step out of their father's shadows because you know how they felt about their fathers during the map based combat years of the early days. I think they kind of have. They kind of have. King has kind of evolved. And before I we talk about that, Sugan... let's take a look at the last match they had. At Wrestle Kingdom, talking about their father's shadows, Sugan Kaze went up against. A, a man who practically was his father for a lot of his early life, DC Zam Champ, who will be wrestling. The betrayal, tonight. the betrayal Sukin did to DC was utterly something we we never expected to happen. And then within the like, same show, ridiculous. we saw King take on his blood father Alejandro Leva. The event. And one mm -hmm. of the craziest matches you'll ever see that saw Alejandro hey. Leva. Elbow drop his son into oblivion to become the new world of sports, three time new world of sports, intercontinental champion. That match is a must oh, watch. Hey, hey, a suplex. Intercontinental? You mean. Uh, Ali Continental, Ali I know, Ali I know. Yeah, hey, Ali Continental, baby. <laughs> but, but yeah, all oh, of these. And then his their partners, the history with them as well when they're coming up. But right now, these guys, look at them. Just as prominent as their fathers were back in the early AWC days. You know, the last time they teamed up was actually against their fathers, Jen Kaze and Alejandro Leva on the road to Tokyo Dome, which saw Miyasu and Kaze take the losing fall to Alejandro Leva. Sun Kaze has been on losing streak as of now, so let's see if he can get this back. Of course, with our with current junior heavyweight champion. Oh no. Representing Ring Doyen, Karoshi Ono! Yes, sir! Karoshi Ono, guys. Karoshi Ono, baby. Hey, hey, for a while, we thought he was never going to step out of the shadow of one of his fellow uh, members in uh, Matsuda Tanaka. But he created his own identity, and look at him now. A junior heavyweight champion. Yeah, arguably one of the best matches at Wrestle Kingdom, and one of the highest viewed matches of both nights. Kuroshi Yoto is a star, they call him a star boy for a reason, he's a star in his own right. Defeating Talhawk and Able to become the new, final, and now current junior heavyweight champion. That that match was beyond crazy. I was there with yeah. the commentary. We were all there. We were up on our seats being excited for this match. And now we get to see him again. Let's see what we have in store this time for Kuroshi Ono. That was a treat. He's him, teaming up. Right with the man who led and carried this company on his shoulders for the better part of a year. The former New World of Sports Heavyweight Champion himself. From Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 230 pounds, also representing Ring Doyen, Suji Godo! This man right here, if 
proved and is the epitome that it doesn't matter how old you are. As long as you aspire for your dreams and make it to the top, anything can happen. This man came into map based combat on a basically a retirement tour. If he did not win a New World of Sports Cup, it was it. That was it for him. Not only did he win it, he defeated Jankazi to do it and went on to hold hey, that championship for an entire year before losing to Matsu hey. Tanaka at Wrestle Kingdom. And mind you guys, at the end of his reign, a lot of fans sort of turned on Tsuji Goda. He went from being the most beloved veteran to this guy that we got tired of seeing a winning, and we wanted him to finally pass the torch to Matsuda Tanaka. And it finally happened, but regardless, you gotta give a respect to a, a year-long reign of amazing matches and brutality from Tsuji Goda. And don't forget, the last match we saw of Tsuji Goda was against King on the second night, which King won. Some say by a screw job, as yeah. we've never actually saw Suji go to tap out in that match. No one knows that if it was or him. not. But uh, it was Alejandro. a win, documented win for King. You gotta imagine Suji go to looking for redemption. Yeah. Alejandro, you're well known with the Leva family. How do you think King is thinking about um, this match with Suji? Do you think he can have what it takes to actually beat him clean this time? Yeah, I mean, he beat him once. Why can't he beat him again? Well, we're starting off here, Kuroshi Ono and King. This is an interesting matchup here. You know, last time Matt Base Combat actually had a show, DDT. Ooh, DDT. The last, last show Matt Base Combat had before it was canceled Monkey was Club. Matt Base Combat Awakening in Osaka. That show saw Kuroshi Ono challenge Matsuda Tanaka for the New World of Sports Heavyweight and Intercontinental Championship that ended in DQ Ooh. because King interfered and cost Kuroshi Ono the match. Kuroshi Ono's only right, world dude. championship match was ended by DQ by King. You gotta imagine that pisses Kuroshi off. So, right what you, it's yeah. revenge. so what you're saying is both these people, they want their hands on King the most. Absolutely. King is a bastard and we know. God damn, an inverted scope slam? Yeah, the strength of King. King ain't playing right no there. games tonight. Oh, jeez. That, that, that knee buster from that um, underhook lift. Tag. We got Tsukukaze, the second win. We're going to be seeing his father, oh. the homecoming hero, Jin Kaze, in the main oh. event. But don't sleep on the sun this here. Is, this is someone who definitely hated his father but because his father wasn't a picture, but it wasn't Ooh. for his own accord. Remember what happened? Uh, Jin Kaze was in a coma because of a certain individual that's no longer here with us. Jeez. Yes. Tsukukaze to the top. Hey, fuck a Ryan. Oh, oh big stop. Oh, my God. Now he's a foot stop. Yeah, you gotta imagine, Tsukin Kaze has gained a lot of weight since Ooh. we last saw him. He's a heavyweight now. He's 230 pounds, as opposed to being Walking a junior up. heavyweight at 210 pounds last time he saw I him. I think he's only gotten better as time went on. I think when he first debuted, a lot of people looked down on him. And as time went on, he only got better Ooh, and better in the ring, and he adapted, and he found himself. And now he's at the perfect point. No, Dane has ex an exact point made. Because for the longest time, they just saw him as Jin Kazi Jr., but then he created his own identity. Now look at this. It, we it got wasn't even just that. I Ooh. also think there was an amount of greenness to, like, everything he did. Like, he didn't seem like he knew what he was doing in the ring. Big like, he would always mess up very think simple of, dives. and think of, think of it this way, Dave. If um, your father was Jin Kazi, you couldn't live up to his pedestal. Would, wouldn't you be able Wouldn't you mess up every time or two? Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> And you gotta imagine, guys. This is actually a really interesting matchup. Suji Goda. Oh my god. Whoa. Suji Goda and Sugan Kaze. Oh. Let's remember this. They the first oh. match. Su oh, here we go. King Suja, baby. This is it. Hey, do, oh, he's going right after Sugan. Why? Don't get distracted. Why is he distracted by Sugan? Oh, I guess there maybe go, misdirection go. there. What's he going for? Suji Goda is smarter than we think. Don't forget. This hey man has hey outsmarted the best. Hey Ooh, face first. The hard I mean, he's also an here. older guy. I imagine his eyesight isn't the best. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, Suji Goda and Suken Kazu do have not a lot of history, but some history. The very first match Suji Goda had here in Map Ace Combat was against Suken Kazu in the first round of the New World of Sports Cup, which Suji Ooh. Goda won, obviously. He then went on to beat his father, Jin Kazu. Oh, Kaze, my God. At Spent a lot of time on the outside here, though. Yeah, referee's at six already. Seven. You gotta imagine, this was always gonna benefit King. King literally wrestled his father in one of the 
one of the hellacious matches I've ever seen. Here we go, King and Karoshi going back at it now. Oh, it's too far. And a big scope slam Ooh. from King. Put him down. King tagging in. Tagging it looks like out. King doesn't want to associate with Karoshi Oda right now. I think he knows <laughs> He knows Kuroshiona wants him, and that's why he's taking himself out. Oh, big stop Ooh. there from Shukun Kaze. Yeah. But maybe it's a lack of respect he has for Kuroshiona. Oh, maybe he absolutely. doesn't think he's good enough to you wrestle with him. Oh my Here's god, Tigger! Tigger. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. When they last wrestled, they were both juniors. Now that I feel like Sukun's a heavyweight, he feels like that, you know, wrestling a junior weight has been... Oh, the cover. Yeah, it is. Why? He's right. Oh, keep but, breaking it up. Oh, here we go. Karoshi's trying oh, to have a king now. He doesn't have to be a jerk about it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's king we're talking about here. He's one of the biggest jerks I've ever seen. Even after reducing with his father, he's still a jerk. The only person he actually oh, likes in this world is Suku Kaze, I believe. And that's because they're brothers. Of oh, a big brain oh, buster. Oh, that was a beautiful brain buster. Suji goes now. Yeah, Suji, it's so good. Oh, go oh, for a lariat there. Suku Kaze looked like he ducked a little bit. Did he get all of it? Oh. But oh, what's I he going he's for? setting up for the last two raw, possibly. Uh, I'm gonna Here we go. Last two raw. Oh. And that's got to be it. One, One. two. Oh, oh, we're going to fight King. Oh, it out. And getting out of the ring immediately. You see, King is is, is trying. He does not want to associate. Top rope? Wait, what? Top rope. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, super no. Nice you don't see him go to the top rope after him. That's fine. Well, ever, I feel oh, like. Okay. And the first the time he me. does... Oh, Big moves off from Suke and Kaze. As a heavyweight, he can still do some junior moves. Yeah, we're seeing that in display here, and never seen that oh, power. Oh, oh bit of a pipe is there. Nice. He doesn't give a damn about that. Back in King. Now we got King and Suji back in the mix now. Ooh. Oh, big slap! Oh, big slap! King one. misdirection. Float over oh, suplex. Snap suplex. King got to staying in the ring for a little bit longer. I think he wants to... Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, take down. Go for a sharpshooter? Sharpshooter, wait, what is this? Yeah. Wait, oh, no, not a sharpshooter. Oh. 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 oh! Super Dragon! Super Dragon! Again. Well, you know, King does prefer Dragon Suplexes. I don't... I'm not surprised by it. Going for the pin, that could be it. One. One. Two. Kind of knocks his teeth out. No, no. Like, oh, that could break that up. Uh, Kuroshian was confident Suji was going to kick out of that. If he keeps on messing with that lower, I think you should focus on that lower body. Hits him, hits him with that check your leg oh, and does the roll decree, it. it'll be over. Pretty much, wait, half and half! Half, half and half, half. Oh, yes! Half Definitely half. a big trademark oh. we know from Suji Goda here. No, Suji, don't turn your back! Ah, oh, now Sukin's in a ring. Just a mistake, hey. a mistake. Come on. Oh, wait, opened oh. up with the big chops and punches. Suji Goda trying to figure out who he wants to go for next. Ah, Suji Goda feeling wants. himself. First match back in Matt Base Combat. This man carried the company. I get it, but you want to slow yourself down. You are older now. Don't want to overpace Double team. yourself. Oh, oh no back body drop. Karoshi on the mix. Going to Tawei King. Watch out for King. Oh, he got him. Oh, it's an Arata. Pin. Oh, one. 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 Two. Oh, oh, that was really oh. close. Oh. That was super close. Saw King on a quarter, tried to stop him, but Kuroshi dove a little bit too fast. That is smart chemistry between Kuroshi and Goda. They're just tagging back and forth so they don't gas themselves completely. Ooh. Beautiful Tiger Superflex. Well, you know, they're part of the arguably the best faction in Matt Base Combat Ring Doyen. I mean, so you got to lead the charge. Hey, they, they, they accolades speak for themselves. Two world champions and one of, the greatest, hey, one of the greatest junior heavyweight champions of all time. What more can you ask for? Oh, oh, oh a little both bit of a misdirection there. They're both jumping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You throw them out. Oh, everybody's outside the ring. Yeah, Suji. Yeah. He's killing himself. Is that Charlie D'Amelio in the audience? Ah, uh, wait, wait. Charlie at the, Charlie at the chocolate factory. Let's go. Wait, half and half. Half and half on the half outside. Half half half. Hey, someone take Charlie's phone away. She's trying to do the renegade in the crowd during this match. Hey, renegade. <laughs> Oh wait, look at hey, look at right Kuroshi Yoda here. here. Uh -oh. Putting a hurt on King. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What's happening? Sold out crowd here tonight. They need the fest! Need the fest! Suji Goda back in the ring with King. I'm back in the ring with Suki Kaze, I mean. 
All right, swept to the corner. Looks like King is wiped out here. Double team. He's getting jumped earlier. Wait a minute. Oh, assistant. Wait, is this? Oh, assistant yeah. Lariato. Oh, I love it. Oh. It's a going to the oh, outside. Oh, King's down. Oh, fucking King out. Oh, Suka get up to his feet. What is this? Be a setup for possibly. Corkscrew King kick. Oh. And I think that might be it. Does he have it? One. One. Two, Two, gets the win! Ring Noyen! Champion in the game. The tag there team we coach go. was on point what a fun tag and it worked in their favor. After that wombo combo, he ended it with a corkscrew key kick. Oh Beautiful shit, look guys. at this! Ring Noyen's in full effect, baby. You can't stop this faction. Not hey. even the Warrior Winds can stop him. Hey, Sukun Kaze, this is what happens when you don't take a junior heavyweight seriously. He just pinned you one, two, three. You're goddamn right. And you know one thing, speaking of a junior, we have one of the best juniors in the entire game, Avil, going up against the fighter, DC Zam Cham, in a dream match that's coming up right now. The dream match turned to reality. Oh, shoot! The following combat is scheduled for one point. From Havana, Cuba, weighing in at 205 pounds, Avon! Now, Avon was arguably one of the fan favorites of the early days of map based combat. He was universally loved by everybody, not just fans, but backstage alike. And here's some highlights of his past, guys. You gotta love oh, Avil. Man. Everybody loves Avil, damn it. I love Avil. Those eyes. <laughs> Maybe we don't get a highlight of his past. So I thought we were gonna get a highlight of no, no, no. his past. His I, past I is think, too dark. Nah, someone's trying to rib you. That's what it is. Yeah, they, they're messing with you. Ah, there, oh, there we go. go. There, there we go. go. <laughs> that was a little early. They were too late. Yes, it there was Wrestle Kingdom. The last match Ooh. he had was against Karoshi on Town Hawk, and he was on a losing end of that. And arguably one of the matches of the night. This was high octave from start to finish. It was amazing seeing those two compete. But now we get to see him face another Cuban and arguably one of the most iconic people in our franchise. DC. Most iconic the Cuban in the world. The fighter. I think Abel's a fighter. This man's really the yeah, fighter. From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 250 pounds, the fighter, D.C. Zamchad. And I know you guys heard that pop. The Florida native back in his element, baby. Looking pretty young. He doesn't have gray hair anymore. I'm guessing that um that DDP yoga Just for men. Just for men working. Yeah, well, you know, from what I hear, uh, we, we now have a lot of advanced technology. You know, after the events of Wrestle Kingdom, Shadow's been dipping back into things, and DC Zam uh, Team's experimenting look, with some de -aging. You can just pop a pill that. nowadays and de-age. Look at that grizzle young. Look at that grizzle veteran. DC said if he's Ooh. going out, he's going out with a bang, and he wants to go back to that, that prime years to put on what he believes will be his best performance of all time against Avery. Not that he doesn't believe he could do it in his grizzled state, because obviously he can. But he wants to face Avil at the same age Avil is now. Similar age, that is. Hey, my, 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 concern, is hey, my concern is, I feel like if um, Avil hits the immobilizer, I don't think... Hit the wait, 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 immobilizer already? Wait, oh, oh wait, oh, yeah. oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. No, but, but on the serious guys. If um if Abel hits that immobilizer, bro, the opportunities of DC hitting that fighter's elbow are slipped to none. I mean, he 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 tried it earlier on in this match, and DC's not having it. He knows, he knows them. Cuban knows Cuban. Well, both of them are Cuban. Now we're seeing this right now. DC Zamchem, Abel, both Cuban, both have a strong style aspect to them. Both starting in a martial arts aspect. You know, DC, even though he's DA, DC chronologically, he's still in his 50s. Take into account, Avil, in the very early on in his career, went to Japan and trained at the Jinkaze School of Arts. Trained alongside Tsukinkaze and Trinity Shadows, under the tutelage hey. of DC Zamcham and TJ Shadows. Hey, 
think of it this way: the fact that he he was allowed to join in that dojo and not have any bloodline um, relations to any of those family members says how much good he was able was to be accepted in that dojo. Absolutely. My only problem with Abel right now is that we're see we we start seeing cracks in his armor as time Ooh. has gone on. I don't know if he's as dominant as he used to be, but I think he still has it in him, and I think it, that's it, the it, most dangerous part. To be fair, Dane, it's been a year since. Got about a ponytail. Kingdom. And that's true. Oh. We haven't seen what he's been working on and training. Maybe he's. Got something up his sleeve that we don't know about. Well, so far, yeah, it looks like DC is taking the, the firm control of this match. DC, we're talking about DC in his AWC days. Former AWC World Champion, DC Zayam Champ. The former Wrestle Kingdom main yeah. eventer, DC Zayam Champ. The DA agent technology helped so much, but don't you think maybe he got the age a little too far back? I mean, we're talking. Oh, a Savat oh. kick! Very rare we see a Savat kick from Abel, but. And the lady, Dane. Oh. Matt, you know what? I'm not gonna say that because DC Zam Cham at this point in time, he was. I mean, you guys know we were all there. Oh, DC Zam Cham yeah. was one of the one of the main eventers, one of the headline acts of AWC. I wish he had the hoodie on. Yeah, ah, those were the days. Yeah, he would get high in wrestling. I bet. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> We see DC Zam Cham still taking firm control. We don't really see Abel on defense all too much in these matches, but it looks like Abel's kind of struggling now. He's separating. Hey, well, I thought I he was broke. separating himself. It looks like he's trying to go on the outside here. Abel, wait, look at this. What's he going for here? Hey. Oh, look at this! A Brock lock on the outside. Brock lock. Trying to go at the hey, legs. Hey. But DC. Me, I, 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 I think he's going for the wrong leg though, because usually. I would go for the other one because that's where um, DC hits the GTS. You're right. Oh, DC oh. dealing in them strikes. Oh, damn. Damn, that chill. Back. Chill. Hey, he, proven to, no, proven like to so Abel why. Yeah. Proven to Abel why he's the student and DC is the master despite that de aging. Oh. I have not. I don't think I've ever seen Abel like be on defense like this. Jesus Christ. I mean, I DC, I mean, in his prime was definitely like this, but Jesus. Has he like, been taking a nap for the last two years? Yes. Hey, the wonder, hey, the wonders of modern medicine, bro. Modern technology. Re DC breaking that count. The not one went by count out. Much respect. That's smart. That's smart. Well, they able, there hey, we go. Smart. Running out of take him uh, down. I mean, DC has always kind of seemed like a very respectable person to the, the person that he's up against. He's a man of honor and brutality, but the emphasis on the honor. That much is true. Getting into the ring, DC still. Hey, wait, going for? He's going for GTS. Oh, oh no. Abel, Abel gets no. out of it. The reverse DDT. And you gotta remember, back in these days, DC very much favored the GTS as a finishing move over the fighters. Oh, up. Oh. He still used it, but oh, I'll oh, take Abel over the top. Yeah, with the, with the oh, aging, oh he's only eight years into the career. If you would have waited another three, four years, that's what DC hit the fighter's elbow like a champ. Wait a minute, hold on. Cross my oh, cross body. Hey. But a little not, strong not now. Uh, remember, DC Zamchat wasn't much of a high fighter. He's a ground and pound pure risk type of guy. Yeah, but back in the AWC days, DC could he he could he just did it. So we're seeing exactly, that here. but yeah, even then, but. Take into account, DC is six foot five. He's one of the tallest wrestlers in map based combat in AWC. He has that big height advantage, strength advantage, weight advantage over Abel. Abel has to use all accounts of speed, submission, and strikes to beat DC here because anything else is not going to work. My man got slapped and got right back into the ring. Both men back in the ring already. And put back down. Abel's fighting for his life right now. For him. He's getting back into it. Oh, wait, here we go. Take down. There we yeah. go. Oh, there go. strikes. Calm strikes. And now Abel putting a reversal on DC Zam Jam. Ooh. Ooh. Kicking ahead. Now taking him down. Going to aim at that arm. Got to soften him up for the mobilizer. We saw he tried to hit it. very. The very first offensive move in this match was an immobilizer attempt. Unsuccessful, but it was an attempt. Now, we all grew up watching DC Zayn Gem. You got to ask yourself here. Wait, oh, wait. He's going for the Boom Slang DDT. Oh. Uh -oh. Strong Style Serpent himself. Is he going to hit it? 
Boom slang, DDT. Hey, 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 hey. Devastating. I, I would go for a pin off that. I would too. I would have waited too long. Oh no, he didn't. It doesn't. He doesn't. I'm surprised. Oh, by wait, that. he's going for the mobilizer. Oh, here we go. Uh, he's gonna tap is this him one out. yet? Oh, Does he get it this time? DC oh, with no. the reversal. Second attempt has not been able to hold it since the start of this match. Send him to the outside. DC Zamcham still in firm control of this match. Two. Oh, stare down look at this. Each other. Yeah. Look at this. He's waiting. He's inviting him to get back into the ring. He was to bring it on. Oh, shit. There you go. He brought it. Oh, big chop. Ooh, big chop. Ooh, bringing it back. Uh oh. oh we got a striking exchange going on here. Who's going to fall first? Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, Wait, damn. This is Bar. Got oh, wobbly leg. You see that? Oh, they're both in wobbly. Oh, slash, slash, oh, slash. Oh, a kick. Big kick. Oh, chops. Oh my There's God. a kick from these. There's a kick from Abel oh, now. Shit. And a new. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, no. None, none of these oh, men are falling, though. They're just oh, taking man. punishment. This is awesome. Yeah. This, this is, is awesome. He's got him in the corner now. Oh, that's cheating. Come on, dude. Oh, he's not cheating. It's a kind he's of fun. Stop in the hole. Ah, I know, he, 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 didn't, he didn't make him fall from just the strikes. He used the corner. Uh, that is true. I wouldn't call it cheating, but it is true. Hmm. Anyone ever take the head? I wanted to see him knock him down. Just pure strikes alone. Oh, right there you go. Oh, there it is. Yep, as you soon as you call it. Got your wish. Oh, he got him up. What go out? Oh, duck the roundhouse kick. Abel, what those oh. Mongolian chops? And a roundhouse kick from Abel. Oh no, he might have woke Abel up. Yeah, and the crowd is alive for this one. I think Abel's starting to wake up too. Abel mounting oh on top God. of DC with those punches. I don't know, guys. If you had to take a count, who do you guys got winning this one? Abel's starting to get in his element, I feel like, right now. Uh, I'd probably go for Abel. I want Abel to win, but I'm not DC. so sure Trikes. that he can beat DC. Oh, DC's up to his feet. Roundhouse kick! Oh my god! What? What? Oh, 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 oh. Holy oh, shit! What are you doing? Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Abel misdirection there! Go for it. Taking him oh. down! Need him right! Got the knuckles in the back of the neck! There we go! Yeah. That was crazy! Abel Fair flipped apart. up into Limp a palm limb. strike! I don't think I ever seen that before! Palm strike again! There we go! Knocking down DC. Looks like Abel's starting to get back into his helmet. Roundhouse kick. He's, he's not giving DC he's a break. DC down. Every time. We're starting to see a That's bit good. of a, a chain here. Abel's starting to get for yeah, control back into again. this. He's got to keep the momentum going. If he loses the momentum. That's it. I think DC. Right. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. There's a the oh, momentum oh, shift DC already. Oh. That, that didn't take too long, Dane. They didn't take too long. That's... Oh, fighter's elbow! That's oh, wrong. no, that's over. Yeah. One, One two. two. Oh! Oh, 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 my God. A close kick out. Abel's up to his feet. There we go, Abel. Uh, Abel. Recovering pretty fast from that fighter's elbow. There's some angst in that heart. That's what that is. Abel thought about yeah. leaving, but he decided against it. Oh. Nope. Abel's trying to get DC into the corner now. What can Abel go Dang, for to put DC Ooh. down? Those immobilizers have not been working. Uh, back elbows. Maybe we want to go for the Viva La Revolution. That might work. That running headbutt. Oh, yeah, oh here I we go. Armbar supplied. Oh, DC foot on the rope. Taking apart that arm again. We're seeing this move. Ooh. A lot of this match. Ooh. Both men aiming at the arm. DC at this time. Use the submission move a lot, the Koji Clutch. That could come into play here. If Abel slips up even just one bit, that Koji Clutch is applied, Ooh. Abel might be in big trouble. Abel setting him up for the mobilizer one more time, possibly. Here we go, yep. mobilizer. Does he have it this time? Good place to have it, but no. Nope, it gets out of it, it again. That's the third <laughs> attempt. Failed. I don't know. I think uh, Abel might look at other options here. 
And it's sad, because that used to be, like, his best move. That used to be, like, the go-home move. Yeah, you're right. I feel like Awa must have been not trading as much, or just not as prepared, I feel like, for this match. You know, he took that loss. Oh, my God. Yeah, big he took that loss at Wrestle Kingdom, and it's kind of set him off a little bit. Yeah, he's off track. He needs to flip that gear. Oh, no, going for the GTS. Oh, no, is he going to oh. hit it this time? Oh, no. Go to sleep! Oh, oh yeah. That might be no, he's, oh, wait, he's not done? Oh, why? Oh, oh no, no, that's it. That's it. One, one, two, two. what? Oh. Are you kidding? A yeah. DTS and, oh, wait, Abel's up to his fifth flat? Oh, no, DC putting him right back down. Ooh. Abel kicked that's out man. of a GTS and a fighter's elbow. Now DC goes nice. to the top rope here. Elbow drop possibly dropping a knee across the neck. You see Abel's getting up slowly and slower. There's a headbutt. Above Keep that it. in mind. The Viva Revolution can be waiting in the miss. Able with a Rana, what? You don't see Able do high fly moves all too often, but he can dish him out. Don't forget, he's a cruiserweight after all. There is a big weight advantage here. Able 205, DC 250, 45 pound difference. But Abel will not let that be the reason. Oh, there's a ripcord knee strike. Oh. Will not let that slide. There's a pin in DC one. Two. two kick out of no. two uh, how, was that like the first pin attempt abel's got in this match i feel like he hasn't gone for many no i just i think he hasn't he, had the opportunity to go for many honestly no he didn't really bother either yeah he wants to win with submission you can tell that's like abel's mo here he wants to tap out dc's am champ but is it smart is the question can he tap out dc well I, I don't, at this point i don't think he can tried his submission three times and all three times it does not work you gotta start wondering is that viva la revolution the thing he needs to do he hasn't actually tried for it yet they've been having a big strike battle a test of fortitude that crowd dc getting him up talk about strike battle going back at it again another endurance test abel's in the corner oh, oh, oh abel my I want to get out of that corner. Yeah, get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. Uh oh, he's going to... Oh, no, my... Oh, Abel blocks it. Oh, there yeah. we go. Big chop. Right. Backhand. Right. He's wheeling him. There's those chops. And a roundhouse kick. DC's yeah. down. Oh, he's getting DC back up to the feet, though. Damn, he's dealing in some more. Oh, roundhouse gosh. kick again. And, D and he's getting him right back up. He's not done. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, but he did a back. He's still getting back DC up back up. He is still not done. Abel oh, unleashing oh, a fury oh, of strikes oh, here. Oh. Jesus. 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 That's the fire we need to see from Abel. That's what we need. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs to win this match. I feel. Abel unrelenting on DC's AM Champ. And DC, for the first time in his match, looks vulnerable. Roundhouse again. Ooh. Them strikes. I think he's trying to knock out DC at this point. Armbar applied. DC! Again! Not allowing oh, it to happen. Punches oh. straight to the dome. Wow. Oh, ducked. There we go, Abel. Wait a minute. Oh, a mobile. Wait! Oh, that's the mobilizer! That's the one he used to. Oh! Foot on a rope. Break. But that was smart. That was the mobilizer he used to tap out Tyler Hawk of Wrestle Kingdom. That was effective. You gotta imagine if DC's foot was not on a rope, he may have tapped out there. DC didn't escape, he put his foot on the rope. Very poor ring awareness there, though. Well, you gotta imagine, I think, I, I feel like Abel is just trying to end this match as much as he can, because DC's a, DC's a machine right now. He is. He's an absolute unit, but you can't end the match if you don't understand your surroundings, you know? There's always a rope break, there's always so a way out. DC up. Abel's up! Immediately, oh, put right back right down. My God, going for a GTS one more time. Oh, uh, here we go. Third GTS. Go to sleep. Oh. That has to be it. That right? has to be the one. One. To put Abel two. in. Oh! 
That was a bit weaker, but he's still remaining in this. Yeah, that was Jeez. a very weak kick out. It's barely moved his shoulder. Kicking out of three feeders. That basically was, the, I, I thought the head, referee's hat was like one inch from the mat at that one. Abel got his shoulder up just a little bit, just enough. You see, and Abel is struggling right now. Wait, what is this? Fighters don't, oh wait, Abel, oh counter! Yes. Viva la revolucion! Uh -oh. Viva la revolucion, that could be it! That's it, that's it. It has to be it. One, one two, two. Jason oh. kicks out! Oh my god. Excuse me? Exactly, what is it gonna take? He's stomping Quite away at the arm! DC clutching it! On my blood! He's gotta sit stead! He lets go! I don't know how smart that was to let go of the arm bar! Wait a minute! Can we wait, he has it! And mobilize it locked in! Oh, he's watching back on the arm! And DC taps oh, out! Yeah! There yeah. we go! That was the right position Avo needed, and he got it in place. Avo! That match took a lot out of him, though. I can see the sweat on his face. Avo, that might be one of the hardest fart matches he's ever had, but goddamn, was that a battle. And Avo comes out on top. What a fantastic match. It was fantastic, and if that is Very DC's last match ever, what a way to go out. Dave looks to drive off. Drive off to the sunset. Rest in peace. I think that's the best way to do it. Not dead. <laughs> so say rest in peace. On his way out the arena, you gotta imagine. I'll see Abel you again. When I, oh, stops. Looking in the rear view mirror. Oh, yeah. look at that. Throwing Giving DC his DC. props on his last match. You got to imagine passing up the torch right there. And what a fantastic match he got off. Just bangers all night. Let's get into another potential banger. Love to see it. The return of Dawson Ivy Cyrus. Who is Jenner. it? Who is it though? Who is he, who is he going to challenge? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know, but I know one thing is for sure. What's that? That film that we've been waiting and praying for, that TV show, the illustrious TV show, the Jim Kaze and Alejandro Leva, buddy cop movie? Yeah. Take this. Seoul, South Korea, now residing in Manchester, England. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Dawson, Ivan, Cyrus, Kennedy. This man right here is one of the directors of that. Hell yeah. And he made his way back to Matt Base Combat to go out with a W. He doesn't want to go out with a whimper like he did here at Wrestle Kingdom. And man, that was one of the one of the best matches of Wrestle Kingdom. One of the one of the crowning moments. Oh, no. After a long, 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 strenuous time of seeing Matthias Metalhead and Alpha at the helm of Dawson Ivy Cyrus Kennedy, Matthias finally had enough and put it in to Dawson Ivy Cyrus Kennedy. It was a great moment. One of the best moments I have ever seen, quite frankly. Dawson, he hasn't resurfaced in the wrestling business since that match. This is his first match back in this open challenge. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have to root for him. He's directing a show that I want to see, but at the same time, it's Dick. He's a snob. Yeah, he's a dick. That's why I think Dick. But the question is, who is his opponent? I'm gonna go Dynamite. Might be T Dynamite. Wait, that's not T Dynamite. Wait a minute! Whoa. Is that? No way! Ladies and gentlemen, we are having an intergender match here! What? No. Really? Wait, what? 
The last time we saw Trinity Shadows was at Wrestle Kingdom, mind you. But her last match in map-based combat was over almost three years ago against Maki Kishimoto. That was one of the best matches we had in map-based combat, male or female. Trinity Shadows, without a doubt, is one of the best wrestlers in map-based combat. And that's the main event at the very first Mania Duntaku against Hiromi Gozen. Unsuccessful, but she did. Trinity Shadows losing effort in this match to Maki Kishimoto for a chance to be in the Wonder J Cup. Well, advanced in the Wonder J Cup. But she is one of the best. And not only is she a Wonderweight, but now looks to be competing against... Yeah, and now she's about to slap the spit out of that man's mouth. Because that guy deserves it. That guy sucks. Well, he's good in the ring. But... Equality for all. Equal rights. Equal fights. I'm here for it. Dawson, Ivy, Cyrus, Kennedy versus Trinity Shadows. Let's get into it. Oh, good. what? Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Me <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, oh, oh uh, did you did you just jinx this, Dane? Cause I you said it. Trinity's gonna slap. Her. I just saw Dawson slap the shit out of this woman. I don't know how I feel about that. My bad, I didn't. But listen, she it. accepted this match. She wants to do it. She's got to take all the hits that are coming at her. Jeez, she's tough enough to do it though. Dawson standing tall, but Trinity dealing in the oh mobos. See, I told wait, you. Oh, wait, oh wait, oh yes, oh here we go. Oh. oh. Yes! Ooh. Big drop for Trinity okay. Shadows. Beautiful. You see a bit of a longer fury here, but Trinity wants to keep it short and sweet. I can appreciate that. Trinity Shadows back up. Big kick to the chest. Now we saw there was a over a hundred pound weight difference between Trinity Shadows and Dawson Ivy Cyrus Kennedy. Mm. Ooh, Trinity Shadows is a wonder weight after all. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's for true. So one thing is for certain, Trinity's about to use her speed and her knowledge. She has a lot more knowledge than Dawson does, training in one of the hardest dojos in the world, the Genkaze School of Arts. Dawson go for another slap, but there's a height difference too. Kind yeah. of have to lean down to get a Trinity. Dawson started out not respecting wrestling, so he trained in a different arts. Exactly, and you know, it's actually shown a little bit of respect to the business, the fact that he came back. He had that itch. That, that shows a little bit of respect, I would like to believe. Yeah. Show the black tree does go down though. And there's a Rana. Oh, there's a you know, don't sleep on Dawson. He might. Oh. Oh, you missed that. As, soon as I oh. said, don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on Dawson, even though he's a dick, and he doesn't respect the business as much as he should. Dawson, I'd be Cyrus Kennedy is actually one of the best pound for pound wrestlers we have here. He is. There's a big body said, splash from Trinity Shadow. I only said he sucked earlier because I didn't like his attitude. His attitude sucks. And there's a stomp. He's, he's good in the ring. Be wary of the top rope stomp. She calls the shadow stomp. Homage to her father, the now retired TJ Shadows. You also know, this is actually quite a full circle moment because in AWC, one of the first matches of, well, actually the first match of the third season of AWC was an intergender match. And it was Rusty versus Trinity Shadows' aunt, Terror even Shadows. So it's at the full soaker that we're seeing this here. One of the first matches back in that base combat to be an intergender match. Now, oh, hopefully like she has more wrestling. better luck than her aunt because Terra Raven Shadows did lose that match to Rusty. So hopefully she doesn't follow in the same pattern. And look at these, look at these, look at these dickhead punches we're seeing here from Dolph. Eh. You see what I did there? I'm clever. Yeah, I like that one. So All right, now crowd. I gotta I, I gotta take a little bit of run. I'm gonna go to the bathroom break. So I'll be right back. I'll be right back. This, Alejandro, baby. Dane, you take it from here. Yeah, we got this. All right, baby. What are we doing? Shadows. Oh, nothing. Kick. Oh, the, head. the disrespect. The disrespect. Yeah, rock them, rock them, rock them, sock them, robots. Oh, spinning kick. Oh, spinning never mind. down. A oh, dick to the top rope. Top rope, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh, you missed. What was that? Oh, that's kind of sloppy there, but it's still connected. You got it, though. You got it, it's though. Still connected. Still did some damage. I think it did damage on both people, but... Oh, oh, oh! Moonsault! Oh. That was good. That was beautiful. Picture Power perfect. Over. Once again, to the top rope, Dawson, Irie, Cyrus, Kennedy. He keeps going to the top or doing these, like, splashes and things. Like, I don't know. Springboard. Ooh, double axe handle. Oh, my God! Just right Brutality! 
He's disrespectful. Look at that. Oh my god. Knees to the midsection. I Look at that. Being that. disrespectful. Flexing the yeah. muscles. Very chauvinistic of this man. Ooh, there you go, Trinity fighting back. Oh, but not. Didn't last long. It's just a size advantage. Alright. It's working. Trinity fighting back. Well, as soon as I say that, down and again. Ooh, once again, those knees in the midsection. Notice that he doesn't want to end the match. He just wants it to keep going. He just wants oh to God. add on the brutality. Yeah. There's like most embarrassed, most embarrassed Trinity Shadows. Exactly. Like, you think a woman can step up to me? Psych. <laughs> I mean, she's knows? holding her own. I, I can she is that. holding her own. You can't take that away from her. Now Ooh. she's taking it to the outside. That's gonna benefit yeah. her. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my God, dying push. Yep. Oh, he's oh. Slaps. Gotta watch the count though. Yeah. Don't get too distracted. Oh my god, knees, kicks, chops. Oh, DT to the outside. Oh, uh, you love back. to see it. What I miss? See me see on the outside. Yeah, they're yeah. Going outside. Looks like Trinity's it's... been having the upper hand since this started. Uh, no, not, not really. really. She just got it back. Oh, big yeah. roll there. That was a nice dodge though. Oh. Pretty, let's be in our element outside the rings. That's a good thing. We were talking about how Dawson doesn't really want to finish this match. It seems like he's just trying to show off, and he was doing a lot of like springboards and top rope moves. Trudy and... says, "Get back into the ring." I, yeah, actually, she wants to fight. I do get the sense Dawson doesn't want to end this match just yet. Oh, look at this! No, he's he's pleased with himself, but getting this match, you know, he's pleased with this open challenge. Well, you gotta he remember, loves Dawson. It. He lost that Wrestle Kingdom. He wants to redeem himself. So I gotta imagine this. This is more than just trying to get a win he wants to make a statement by beating trinity shadows here and it could have been with anybody but trinity stepped up to the plate so she's going to be the example and i respect her for doing that but oh there's a really slap respect, again i don't really respect his behavior so far i don't either do you think he underestimates trinity like he takes it oh, oh absolutely very much absolutely very much so a hundred percent he's an egomaniac wait trinity trying to grab oh oh my god kicking he's her always right been under. He's always been an egomaniac. Yeah, I mean, this is the same guy who brainwashed Matthias Metalhead and Alpha to be on his side for almost a year. This man's all about himself and only about himself. Wait, Trinity! Oh my! Oh, got him up for the brain buster! He's brain buster! Oh. Holy shit! That's gotta hurt. That's a hundred pounds of human being now. Trinity Shadows is in the gym very often, so... Yeah, I didn't doubt she could lift him up, but still impress him nonetheless. That wasn't as good as Let's go. One! One. Two. Two. Oh, that was oh. close though. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, notice notice that when she flipped the switch, now he wants to end the match. Now he wants to start going for pins. Yeah, exactly. Now he wants to be like, oh yeah. Uh huh. He could have ended this earlier. It might be. Yeah. Him. I think he could have too, but now that she's starting to flip the switch, now he's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you guys had to give a prediction of who you guys would think is gonna win, who you guys got? Uh. Really uh, bruised and battered. Oh, he's teasing. I want Dawson uh, oh, to oh, lose. Dawson, but he keeps being too cocky. Yeah, he was just—he teased her the whole time. He didn't even do anything. I feel like it's gonna backfire on him. Well, so far he has still has the offense. Huh? I'll say that much. Let's go to the top. So you don't want to take a shadows too lightly. Exactly. Oh, might be setting up for the cold open. If he hits that, it's over. Oh, nope, just a no, double axe no, handle. Guys, Teasing man, her again. Man, I had an emergency, but I am back. Yeah, welcome back. Hey, hey, hey. You're seeing the open challenge so answered by... The battle of the Cubans. Listen, that was a Trinity great match. Trinity versus Dawson. The open challenge is open hey, by down. Trinity Shadows, of all people. Trinity is fighting dick. Wait, wait, wait! Wait, she has the Holy Trinity cross face! Oh, wait, wait, oh, no! Oh, hand on a roll. Oh. I told you, ring awareness. I said that earlier. Yeah, Last match. has to be aware of that. It's bet the better for. I'll be yeah, honest. But, so what? So that match between the Cubans, who won, gentlemen? Abel. Abel did. No, oh, right. The other Cuban won. Yeah, I mean, Abel. Abel struggled for most of the match, but it, oh, it was yeah, still a bang. 
It was a big back and forth. Definitely a big back and forth by the end. Trini Shadow is going to the top rope. Has she tried for the foot stomp just yet? From the top rope? I don't think so. Dawson trying to get back in control of this match. He hasn't really lost it, I would say, but there are times when Trinity starts having that comeback and Dawson has to shut her back down. Scout in the corner. Might be trying for something here. Nope, teasing and her teasing again. He, he keeps teasing it. He wants her to get up. Oh, he tried. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. You, nah, I see. This is gonna cost him. Yeah, he takes too long. This is gonna cost him. Wait a minute, Oh, run up real barrow. Uh oh. Saw that earlier tonight from Sinner Sister Jinko. Taking some pages out of other people's books. Big chop to the head. Oh, wait a minute. Might be going for the curtain call here. Oh, that is a curtain oh, call. Oh, Jesus. And that sets up for the. For the end of it all, the cold open if he hits this. Yeah. Oh, wait, no way he's turning his back. Crossbody. Oh, he misses. Catches more of the rope on that one. Yeah, that looks like it hurts. That, that was a big mistake. I don't even know why he tried that. He had to have hurt, yeah. hurt himself on that fall. Trinity setting yeah. up for the moment of silence. Moment of silence for Trinity Shadows. Nice. And that sets up for it all. The end. The Shadow Star! Did homage to her pop pop. One, One two, two oh, and Trinity gets yeah. the win! Thank oh, God, God, dude. So, are we gonna see him go on a hiatus and just drink some mimosas with Alejandro Leva? Well, I guess so. Trinity Shadow! Trinity getting the win in this open challenge. Dawson still not getting that big win that he was seeking out. Yeah. Do you hate to see what well, I don't know. Do you hate to see or do you love to see it? You know, I love Trinity won. Black woman won. I love to see it. I love to see it. I hate to see Dawson. Cheering her on. Yeah, KB Lay. But listen, we got go. one Wonderweight, but now we're going to see four Wonderweights. Four. Four of the do best do in do map based dogs? combat. No, we want cuatro. Yes, a tag team steel cage match coming our way. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Combat is a tag team cage match. There will be no pinfalls or submissions committed. The only way to win is for both members of a team to successfully escape the cage with both feet landing on the floor. From Power wrestling in the flesh. Hiromi goes ahead. Yeah, buddy. The former Wonderweight champion, the longest reigning champion in map based combat history. I was going to say the most dominant Wonder Wonderweight in map based combat history. Shit, one of the most dominant wrestlers in map based combat history. Let's keep it this a This woman was no joke. Right here, some highlights this time. Ooh. Well, that's what she lost. To Piper, one of the most grueling matches we've seen. And arguably the best Wonderweight match to ever be in map based combat. Definitely, definitely a big argument there. But listen, Piper ended that match out as the winner. And Piper could not make this show. She's defending her title worldwide right now. But one thing's for certain. She is watching this match close. Worldwide. Because I know Hiromi is targeting that title once again. Oh, yeah, for sure. She had a stranglehold on not only the title, but the entire division. And she's going to keep that, that in check here in this match. That was her division, nobody else's. Shit, Mama wrestling for a reason. She still runs this, this. Don't yeah, get it dude, twisted. Pump. Don't get it twisted. She still runs the show, and she's gonna show that tonight. There's here. no place oh. for any of these women to run. A lot of the woman goes, and it's not the place to be. But here's one she? woman who won't be running because well, maybe she is because she's one of the best high flyers we have here at Map Base Combat, and that is the Diamond Star herself. Maki Kishimoto. E. Maki Kishimoto. Maki Kishimoto, one of the very best here at map based combat, one of the most experienced too. Undefeated in the Tokyo Dome. Last time we saw her was here. 
Now, I do say undefeated, but she did end up losing in this battle royal. For the opportunity to face off against Romy goes in later in the night. That match is won by Piper, but as you can see here, Kitsuya was the one that eliminated her. Now, it doesn't count against the record because it was, of course, a battle royal. But in the match they did have on a main show that saw a six-woman tag between Team Maki and Team Kitsuya, it was Maki Kishimoto who ultimately got the win by pinning Kitsuya. She may not be the Wonder Weight champion, but she's one of the best Wonder Weights we have. Maybe she should be. And you know what? If she wins this match, her and Hiromi, I think that definitely should set the stage for her to be in contention. I mean, Believe it or not, she has not actually ever contended for the Wonder Weight Championship. Hard to believe. Uh, she yeah. Yet. That should change. That should change. Yet. Yeah. Someone's not looking at her right because she's pound for pound one of the greatest of all time. We talk about one of the greatest of all time. She may not be one of the greatest of all time, but she's definitely one of the most popular, one of the most boisterous, one of the most happy go lucky. It's Kitsuya. Almost an anime. Kitsuya! Well, you know, anime and her are besties, so it, 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 it gets in my mind sometimes. Yeah, I know. I noticed they were besties. Right? Out. Are they still? Yeah, as far as I know, they're still besties. I haven't heard any bad beef about between the two. Neither have I. I know anime's busy streaming on Twitch and TikTok. We're live on TikTok right now. Shout out to everybody watching on TikTok. But Kitsuya, she's one of the best. Now, even though she lost the Wrestle Kingdom, she's looking for that big redemption victory here. Question Shout is. Shout out to Bella Porch watching this show with us. Yeah. <laughs> Bella Porch. Uh, here's a woman who's arguably better. Not arguably. She is better than Bella Porch, damn it. I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of the best in the game. Shayna. The Joshi princess herself. Now, I do say that, but before the match, Hiromi goes and had with Piper at Wrestle Kingdom. She went one on one with Hiromi goes and after winning the Wonder J Cup. She did that by defeating Kitsuya, Piper, and defeating Maki Shimoto all in that tournament. And she had a great tournament. But all in all, when it came time to come back to the Tokyo Dome and defeat Hiromi Gozen to finally have her moment and finally be the Wonderway champion, sadly, she was unsuccessful. And we all know how depressing of a loss that was for Shina. Two. Very sad indeed. Yeah, and, you know, we haven't seen her since then. She kind of fell off the face of the earth for professional wrestling since that loss. This is our first match back. Got to imagine there might be some ring rust here. Won't be her last. I, I can we won't find out until right now, bro, Chacho. The cage is being lowered. Four women step in the cage. The only way to win is by escaping the cage. Which team walks out the winner? Let's get this underway. Here we go, guys. Wait, Hiromi going after Shayna. Right oh, oh, my God. Right, God. right off the bat. The bottom of the turbuckle. The bottom turbuckle. Did y'all see that? We starting off hot here. And Hiromi swinging Shayna oh around. God. Bro, Whoa. she's not holding back. Maki lands on her feet. Here we go. This is the action you're looking forward to with the one to eight division. Yo, kids are you looking different. This this ain't no Divas Revolution. This is the, the Wonder Revolution. The Wonder Warpath. Wonder, I like that. The Wonder Warpath. We're seeing a big work path here from Romy Goes, and Sheen hasn't even got any off the way. Kitsu trying to climb oh, she's first. Trying to leave already. She said, F Sheena. I'm trying to get out of this bitch. I ain't trying to be in the ring with Fit Karomi Gozen all night. I don't blame her. Now we're seeing Sheena and Maki go at it. These two have had their wars. Dane, you know about this. Oh, yeah. And Romy Gozen looking to stop Kitsu right now. Oh, Jesus. Falling face for it. Now Maki looking to escape the cage here. You know, I don't think Ma Hiromi will do too bad by herself in the cage, but I imagine it's probably better for them to both climb. Jesus Christ, Hiromi goes and going straight at Kitsuya here. German, oh, oh, she's down. She's still holding on to her. 
Fury have suplexes from Omi goes in. And Sheena looking to climb. Sheena might be making her way out. Oh, Sheena's at the top of the cage already. Oh, she might be you out can't of here. Leave your partner. You can't leave your partner. Come on. She's oh, about to. Oh. There we go. Kitsy, see Hermie going bonk, at it. Bonk, bonk. I kind of oh, look you want to see that match. I feel like they would have a good one. It'd be interesting. That'll be a good David versus Goliath battle for the Wonderweights. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm wa I'm waiting for that match now. We're seeing Hiromi and Kitsu on down the floor. Sheena and Maki. And oh, Maki oh. falls. Jeez. Oh, Jesus Gina, get, Christ. Get Look at those knees. Sheena, just go. Just go. Sheena, just Hiromi's go. Just beast. go. Just go. Sheena. She Sheena, just put your foot in the... Oh, my oh, Lord. Now what Hiromi's going to the top. Wait, Kitsuya trying to take down Hiromi. Oh, and the Hiromi mean? falls down. She's no, trying to escape. Might be able to escape. No, oh, no, 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 no. stop by Maki. Maki doesn't want Sheena to escape. As she should it. As she should it. And there's those elbows right to the temple from Kitsu. Donk, 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 donk. You're gonna have to keep that monster down if you want to win this match. Before any. Sheena, anything. why are you coming back this way? The other way, woman. God, Jesus. Well, Maki put her down. Yeah. And she's struggling to get out. <laughs> oh, wait. Go! Kitsu, you go. Trying to stop one her. Foot and one, and one foot in one Kicked hole. Away. The other foot in the other. Ah, uh, now Sheena's down. Oh, uh, yeah, down. Nah, I think Maki's about to be out of this game. Oh, Sheena's back up to her feet rather quickly. You know, you ain't got nobody to blame but yourself, sweetheart. Wait, oh my god, the move at the top of the cage. Are we going to see a war path in the rig on top of the cage? Puts us to the head. Wait a minute. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, yeah. Maki set on the top. See it, see it, Gina, see it, see it. She's see it. about to fall. Wait, oh my god. No, oh, what's oh, no oh, way. Oh, no oh, way. Oh, hey. oh my god. Oh, hey. Dive on the top. Holy shit. 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 And Hiromi goes in with a warp. Oh, Jesus Christ. She just oh, tried to climb Lord out of here. That power bomb was uh, on some next level meta. What the? Both women trying to go after Sheena now. Robbie's going to stop her. Can't tell you. Stopping Maki. It looks like Sheena's out the cage. Come on, I think Sheena. there's no stopping. There's no stopping Sheena yeah, here. There's no stopping her. She's, she's Shana's out. out. Yeah. You gotta imagine how smart that was to, oh my god, to leave her partner behind. It is now a two-on-one situation here. Oh no, this is the this is the scary part, guys. And Kitsui is so small compared to these two. These two just have like even Ma even Maki has the height advantage on Kitsui. Span is why. Yeah, that's what sucks about the cages. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, that kick right that to the combo? head. That rocked her. That had the rocker. She's down. Oh, the they're both climbing opposite ends. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Kid, so you have to choose one or the other. Yeah, one. I, is I mean, if I'm if I'm her, I'm choose I'm choosing Maki. I'm not staying in the cage of Romy. I let Romy climb yep. out. I don't know if that's a smart idea either, though, because Maki is just well, it looks a like you chose Maki. Yeah. yeah, but here's the thing: a high advantage. Yeah, Romy's out. Is better than out. But listen, it was only it was meant for these two to be in the cage. They had their match at Wrestle Kingdom, and Maki Maki got the win. So Ida Magic hits you once to get this win here. So that's oh. probably why she chose Maki to be to pull it out. I mean that, and I once again, I don't want to be stuck in a cage with Romy by myself. So yeah, that's I, mean, true. I would that's I would let Romy climb out. Now it's down piece. to two. Kitsuya Maki Kishimoto. One of these two women leave the cage. And the other team member wins. Now, I believe Sheena should have stayed in this match a bit longer and they both could have climbed down. I think Sheena climbed up prematurely trying to win this match for herself. A little selfish if you ask me. But I think Kitsuya has a chance. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think Kitsuya has Kitsuya has a chance, but I don't I don't know. I don't know who I think it takes, got takes one quiche good night and it's over. For uh, Kitsuya, so yeah, absolutely right. I mean, so far it looks like Kitsuya might be having an advantage here. There we go. You know, in a match where neither woman can escape, you gotta imagine Kitsuya might just have the advantage, but I don't know.
Ah, we're, we'll see. We gotta find out right now about this matchup, you know. That much is for true. Right Ooh. here. Map based oh, combat so. live on TikTok, Ooh. Twitch, and YouTube. Make sure you guys follow if you've not already. Suplex. Oh, German. And for my bootleggers, don't worry. I'll find a link for MySpace. Don't worry. Hey, cut it out. Wait a minute. She has the Anaconda ah. locked in. Is she going to tap oh. out? Oh, oh no. she got a tap. It doesn't matter. Mocking taps matter. out. It doesn't matter. She taps out. It doesn't she matter. She taps out. Whoa. She has to exit. She has to exit the cage. There's no, there's no submission in this cage match. This is traditional cage match. It's escape only, guys. Oh, big chop right to the. It's still a pretty big deal that she tapped she out. She tapped out. Even though it didn't matter, it's a pretty big deal. And you saw Sheena watching on. Sheena couldn't tap out Maki when they had the chance to. You know Sheena might be a little bit jealous about that. Wait a minute, she's setting up. Kamakura! That's Ooh. it. She's out. Climb. Climb! She's out. What's she doing? Okay. Maki oh, is but... down for the count. Is is Kitsu out of the cage? I think Kitsu is out of here. Maki started getting up to her feet. Is she gonna make it enough time? I don't think she is. You know, you never know that. Oh no! Are she you kidding me? I don't think you are. I think, I think, I think. Kitsuya gets the win. Oh there damn! Kitsuya. Why was he taunting? It's Why Shia. was he taunting? Here are your winners: the team of Sheena and Kitsuya. Well, I mean, I think at that point there was really nothing she could do. She already had the match lost. But yeah. here we go, guys. The winners of this match. The team of... Oh. Uh... Yeah, the champ! I... Oh, shit! The Wonderweight champ, Freddy. Freddy the light guys? He's here, too? Oh, holy shit. Know, Fre holy Freddy's shit. been promoted. He's the, one of the lead producers of map-based combat now. Hi, Freddy. The more I know. Freddy the producer now. Big ups to my man. Yeah, moving up in the world. Big producer Freddy, I like that. Almost two years. It's crazy how long it's been. We back, baby. Back. We back, we, back, we're back, back, back. back. I almost had Yeah. It's sad that Sasuke Watanabe is no longer on the board. No, oh, Mr. W. Yeah, this is your locker room now. You in charge, ma'am. You deserve it. Yeah, you, you deserve it. it. Yeah, you deserve Wait, it. Wait, what? Oh, she's adding a stipulation to that match we just saw. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, it looks like Sheena and Maki, well, Sheena and Kitsuya, both Kits contenders. All right. Yeah, that would make sense. Obviously. Logic. Yeah, do it for America. It is what we're going to do. Look at this. Piper versus oh. Sheena versus Kitsuya for the Wonderway Championship in the in main the event way. of the very first episode of Map Based Combat USA. We're getting a three way dance. Yeah, you love to see it. She's going to submit the yeah. Wonderway Championship as the number one championship of Map Based Combat. Oh. So far, so far. Big announcement. Big announcement. We the have a match Piper. set for the main event of our first show. Map Base Combat USA, but ladies and gentlemen, it's about to be time for the main event of the evening. A three-way dance before the three-way dance. Matthias Metalhead versus Jaden Kaze versus the New World of Sports Intercontinental and Heavyweight Champion, Matsuda Tanaka. Speak of the champ, and he shall appear. The following triple threat combat is 
scheduled for one fall. One fall. Continental and heavyweight champion, the ultimate Matsuda Tanaka. Yeah. He has changed from the last time I saw him. No longer colorful and frills. Now it's utter darkness. And now he looks like Heimer did here from League of Legends. Good evil now. He's turned to the dark side, it seems like. He must have changed over the the, the, the hiatus, guys. Yeah, the last time we see him, he went up against Alejandro Leyva. Remember that. Yeah, it was a crazy match that saw Matsuda Tanaka retain the map-based combat, New World of Sports, heavyweight championship. Ah, oh, the Sword's Blade, one of the most gorgeous finishes in map-based combat. And become the new New World of Sports Intercontinental Champion. The and the undisputed map-based combat champion. And a hand, handshake. Handshake, from brother. Homegirl. You can't underestimate, you know, understate that. Champion. The man is the devil champion. Though we don't have the titles tonight, don't underestimate. This man is the champion. He is the ace of this company. The double champ. This guy worked hard for the longest time for that year. That year, guys, from so close, so close, and then winning that G1, and here we are now. But you got to imagine. He has one more shot to defend his territory. He won those championships at Wrestle Kingdom, but now he's going up against two of the biggest names in map ace combat history. This is his chance you to really the, cement that he's the ace. So you got the ace of map ace combat, and right now, let's see who, who's showing up next. Well, here's a man who I would like to say is the ace of one company before this one. That's the ace of Prodigy, baby. The former Prodigy Grounds world champion right here. There we go, Mr. Metalhead. Next, from the House of Rock, weighing a megaton, the Iron Maiden of professional wrestling, Matthias Metalhead! Let's fucking go! Beautiful, beautiful introduction for a former ace himself. He ain't the former ace. This man can't be the current ace. It's been a long time since we've seen the Metalhead back into play, but here he is. The Iron Maiden of wrestling. Yeah, I don't think he's done. Listen, he's the biggest, the tallest, the strongest. Boo. I think he's got this family. Look at these men. This is one of the best moments of Wrestle Kingdom. Not only did he just come back, but then the night after. Against arguably the best tag team in the world, Team David Williams no, and El no, 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 Oh yeah, no, they were awesome. Um, um. But that's when he fully returned as Matthias Metalhead to go up against. Uh, he went up against Tyler Williams, you know myself. And I tried my best. I tried my best. I had a suplex to me. I didn't get my chance. And then ultimately, because he interfered in this match, David Williams took the L. And the ah, team of Beta God, and David. Alpha hey, became the new hey, champions. Dane, hey, 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 where's David Williams at, Dane? Where's David Williams at? I can't find him. I haven't seen him in a while. Hey, look, he's in catering. <laughs> well, anyway, the man who's not in catering, Matthias Metalhead, he's here. The crowd's happy. The crowd is rowdy. But there's one person. Hey, you, may, you mentioned the ace of map based combat, the ace of prodigy. This guy's arguably the ace of the, 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 the show that started this. AWC. Oh, yeah, shout out to AWC. <laughs> and finally, from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the win master, Jin Kaze. The ace of AWC, the webmaster, the man who saved this company from other damnation, the man who single-handedly, well, not say single-handedly, let me not go that far, but the man who put it in to the reign of Orion, Jim Cosby. Guys, 
guys, we have three generations of aces in a three-way dance. This is arguably one of the biggest matches of all three incarnations, inceptions of all of the wrestling programming we've done together. Before we get into that, let's look at the last moments of Matt Base Combat Wrestle Kingdom. This, uh, is death crazy. this broke my heart when Lopardo betrayed Matt Base Combat and joined this demon. Hey, but then he turned it around. What it mattered most. Yeah, I haven't heard from Lopardo in a while. I hope he's doing well, though. Because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be where we are now. Rest in peace. To Lopardo or to this guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, rest the, well, rest in peace to right. Hopefully not rest in peace to Lopardo. I, from what I told, he's still alive and kicking. But he hasn't picked up any of my calls lately, so I don't know. Dude, this guy tried to destroy the world. I don't know if he should rest in peace. <laughs> he's not resting in peace. And I hope he's burning in hell. I take that back. That's hard. Oh! We're smoking that Orion pack. <laughs> like it was Jin Kaze was the man who put in the final blow that ended the reign and the life of evil that lurked over Tampa. this company for multiple years. The lives of every man in AWC and beyond. Jin Kaze did it. And he ended with the AWC family to rejoice and end Matt Bay's combat. And here that we was are one now. of the happiest moments. In and now Jin Kaze doesn't have to worry about Orion or anyone to assault him in the back. Now he's here to do what he absolutely loves. Take names, kick ass, and to prove that if he's still got what it takes to be the ace you know what of I a also, new generation. You know what also I respect about this man? He showed up. You know, his buddy Alejandro didn't show up to this event. Here we go, guys. Yeah, Matsuda Tanaka, Matthias Meadowhead, Jen Kaze. Kaze. Main event time. Let's go underway. Right off the bat, right off the bat. What are we doing? Oh, that knee. Matsuda oh, that breaker. Closing down. Oh, yes. This is awesome. Yeah, now that Matthias is closing that's down. Team one. Oh, that neck break. Well, neck breaker. That's the same one on one match, Jen Kaze versus Matsuda Tanaka. I want to see it. I want to see that. And now Jin's supposed to, I love how everybody has a chance to shine. Crowd obviously behind Jin, the hometown hero. Oh, uh, yep. We're in Tampa. Oh, damn. Throwing Jin Kaze here. Now, who is going to be the true ace of Matt Bay's combat? You guys have to give your predictions down below. Who do you guys got? We got to give it to the current ace right now, in my opinion. This guy... Took him a year, guys. Mind you, a year just to dethrone Suji Goda. Do you really think he wants to lose that position that easily? Not by a chance. Not by a long shot. Yeah, I got my suit as well. I, I got I gotta go with Jinkazi, man. This is this is the man who literally saved us. I can't bet against him. I can't bet I'm against him in his element of Tampa, Florida. I'm I can't bet against him in this match. I'm gonna go it with was, the PS metalhead. Rebel. Well, there's Dane being the oddball in our group. Gotta love him. Hey, well, listen, it's a respectable answer. Matthias Metalhead, look at him. Rock on, yeah. There's Fuck no him. wrong answers here. There really oh, is honestly, no wrong there answers. Isn't. You are right. There's no wrong answers with who could be the next ace of this promotion. You know, Jim Kaze, this, this man was settled on retirement at first. The last match we seen him in was not that match against Orion. It was actually a tag team match between. His co-star Alejandro Leva against Beta and Alpha for the New Order Sports Tag Team Championships. Both men said, you know, if they don't win this match, they're gonna hang it up, and they weren't successful. And since that, Jin Kazayati stepped away from wrestling, started recording his TV show with Alejandro Leva, who's away uh, taping. But he agreed to come back for this match. He says, you know, if I'm gonna end my career, I'm gonna end it in my hometown. Yeah, he lied to Alejandro. Yeah. yeah. Well, Alejandro could have showed up too. But anyway, listen, oh. we're here at the Triple Cut. He's busy, okay? So, kind of say, hey, where you at, Ali? Where you at? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's too hey. Hollywood for us now. Yeah, he big leagued us. Yeah. Probably shooting a Disney Channel original movie. Uh huh. It's not a Disney Channel movie. Oh, wait, Matsuda. Oh! Oh, and a Meteora! Oh, look at that. Boom! Look at that. He just Take posing, minding his business. Now listen, take into account, Matsuya Tanaka, Jinkazi, they've had a match before. It was a King of Pro Wrestling. Matsuya Tanaka defended his G1 Climax briefcase 
against Jinkaze, and, and Jinkaze actually lost. Matsuda beat Jinkaze before. But these Metalheads faced Jinkaze before, and Jinkaze came out the winner of that match. And that was how Jinkaze went on to face Suji Gota to become the inaugural New World Sports Heavyweight Championship, which Jinkaze lost. But Matsuda and Matthias are the only two in this match who have yet to meet with each other. So I'm curious to see what happens when these two go up against each other. Which we're and I'm not right so now. sure that this will be the last time. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. But one thing's for certain. These two, I think, are going to create magic. Matthias stepping up to the plate. This is the first time in his element as Matthias Metalhead back in the ring. Oh, wait. Tanaka Clash? Tanaka Clash! Clash, yeah. We see now you Clash of the Tanaka, however you want to call it. Jinkaze waiting in the wings outside the ring. Wait a minute, Source Blade. Oh, Source Blade! Blade. And it's over. Oh no. Well, Jin, it's not. Well, Jin, Jin just kind of wait. He's like, yeah, I'm going to wait for you to hit this move. Exactly. I'm to see it. And Matsu going to soften up the neck of Jinkaze there with that neck breaker. Jinkaze up to his feet. And there's triple threat action. Undertaker! Triple threat <laughs> action. Yeah, no, I, I can't help it. Yo, Fre Freddy's still wild with the lights, bro. Yeah, well, you know, Freddy, he left the lights department. He's still got to train those uh those rookies, and I see it's working because they, they can't heat the lights. <laughs> They're about as good as he is. Yeah, yeah. Big money Freddy, man. You got to love him. Yeah, he's a producer now. He's not a light guy anymore. He got promoted when we went on the hiatus. Like I said, successful trainer. But these new light guys. Oh, shit, Matthias. Hey, with the light. Wait a minute. Matthias with limb work? Hold on, Matthias must have been training or something. I ain't seen this man doing limb work before. The question is, is he going to use that limb more often? We're going to see some more leg attacks. May Matthias maybe. has always been more of a brawler. He's more in your face. He's smash mouth. He is, oh, but maybe there's more things you don't know about him, right? Well, stuff he might have learned away, away from uh, TV. You never know. You know, Jin was not wrestling, but Matthias has been wrestling in that period of time. And is he Smash Mouth or is he more Metallica? All right, well, judging as his first theme song was Enter the Sam, and I think he's more of a Metallica. But he doesn't shy away from Smash Mouth in the slugs. <laughs> hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Oh, breaking the back. Oh, I mean, oh hell, this man rest. Yeah, just. I mean, yo, don't forget, he's the muscle of this match. Six foot six, 300. Well, no, not 300 pounds. He's a megaton. 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 Oh, looks like and Matsuda we know the ring once now. he hit, and we know once he hits that move that I don't even know how to pronounce because it's Super too mega long. Adolescent <laughs> Annihilator of Death Doom. Yeah. Yep. We got Jinkaze and Matthias but... Metalhead in the ring now. Like I said, last time they met in a singles match, Jinkaze won. We got these two one on one now. A bit of a mismatch in styles. Jinkaze strong style, you know he he has that American style to him. Matthias Metalhead seven years in the game. But his, uh, his style has never really adjusted. He's not going down, though. Jinkaze with the ass kick. Shades of one of his greatest rivals, Shingekido. Yeah, but what Matthias does works. No, no, it doesn't. It worked for a very long time. I won't deny that at all. Muscling him up with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And it's a belly! Again. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Map Based Combat Homecoming here live on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. And be sure to stay tuned because we got more Map Based Combat coming to you soon in the form of Map Based Combat USA. So right now we've seen uh, Matsuda Tanaka hit the Sora's Blade. Now are we going to see these other individuals hit their, um, hit their finishing maneuver? Oh, absolutely. It's just a matter of one. I don't doubt. Jake Kaze can't be in Tampa, Florida and not hit the strong one. He can't he can't not pop the crowd. It's Jake Kaze. He yeah, might be a good guy, but he's still or... one of the most cocky men in, in the business. I think for him to prove his worth in CVA, he's the ace. He might have to hit the Tempest. Wait, wait, wait. The jet stream. That's a Jake Kaze move right there. Yeah. Uh, but then he's reaching a rope. He's tapped out many a men with that move in the past. Matthias was smart enough to reach the ropes. He did not want to chance it. But Matthias, backbreaker. Into the napalm death strike. Oh shit! Get it, Jinkaze we... right up. Uh oh, here we go. It is the, the, the super mega adolescent, adolescent annihilator. Death, death doom. doom. And that might be it. Doom. 
Oh, she put the foot on the rope. Release on a rope break. Foot under the rope. But Theus has that, that better rig awareness. Because that could have been it. He's got to go further into the middle of the ring next time. Jinkazi bouncing back after that. <coughs> Breaking the back. <laughs> Now, Alejandro, you back, you know Jinkaze. I mean, what does Matthias have to do to beat a man like Jinkaze, who literally, in one of the last matches we've seen him in, killed someone? This man's a murderer. He's got murder on his mind. What does what does Matthias have to do to survive Jinkaze? Well, I probably say target the lead. You know, a strong wind to take out literally anybody. Oh, yeah, remember G1 climax? Jinkaze had an injured knee. That might be a smart thing to do. We saw him targeting a knee of. Matsuda earlier, I think that might be the best That thing pop rope spear did not hit much, but it hit something. They might go for a Batista bite here. Matthias, leg on the rope. You see a lot of uh, ring awareness here from Matthias. It's just he didn't really have it too much on his end. I don't think it's ring awareness. I think it's just the convenience of being tall. Well, you know what, actually, you're, you're pretty right on that one. I'll be honest. Yeah, he's a big guy. Six foot six, he's got the leg of him. Nigel get Jinkaz into the corner here. All right, uh, we saw the, the Annihilator Death Doom. Are we going to see the strong win? Oh, Enzaguri. Oh, neck cut on the rope there. Oh, Wait, Matsuda. Oh, Matsuda's oh, back in the ring. Matthias slowing out of the ring there. Taking Jen out of the factor now. Looks like we're going to see Matsuda and Matthias. Uh, I don't dream. know, man. When, if they ever faced off at a singles match, who do y'all got? <laughs> I say Matthias. You gotta give, you gotta give the power. Wait, to one, to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. Eight. Oh. Ten punches instead of dome. Yes. Well, we have seen, you know, Matsuda overcome bigger opponents, you know, stronger opponents. This is very true. This is very like, true. Like, we've seen, we've seen him overcome the odds many times, so that's. That would be hard if it was just a singles match. I mean, yeah, Matsuda actually blasted 60 minutes in the match before. So, I mean, my, I don't think Matthias could last 60 minutes in the match. I'll be honest. Oh, no, he would not. He might be trying for that elevated flatliner, but didn't get it. Matthias has always been a big burst of energy. He wants to take you out as early as he can. The triple third match really doesn't suit him that well. Now, Matsuda going at the leg. We saw Matthias aiming at the leg earlier. Matsuda turning it right back on him. This is his ring. You ain't going to phase Matsuda Tanaka. <laughs> Not at all. One thing you don't want to do, Matsuda, is get into a striker match with Matthias Metalhead. That's where you're going to end up having a big mistake. This man go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best, one of the best brawlers in the game. Ooh. You know, I'll tell you this much about Matthias Metalhead. Former Prodigy Grounds champion, he beat Alpha in the main event of Prodigy WrestleMania. He never oh, lost that awesome. championship. It was just that Prodigy got canceled. You gotta imagine, if Matthias had another shot at the World Championship, could he beat Matsuda tonight? I'd say he probably could. If Here we go, Wumble line, Combo. He's he extremely motivated. Up, I think. Go snake, eyes. snake eyes. But with the element of Jin Kazi in this match, that's where I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's where it's gonna get a little bit harder to say who wins. It's pinpoint. Wait, but Matthias with an armbar? Matthias with a submission? Arm Wait a minute drag. here. I'm sorry. I'm so he has been training. Uh, he has been. It lip work for Matthias here. I mean, it's not tightly applied, but it's something. Yeah. I mean, tightly applied, bro. This guy's pure muscle. Any form of submission hold, no matter how properly executed yeah. it is, it's going to hurt. He's a better wrestler than you were in your time. Shut the hell up. He's not wrong, though. I get him. Shut the hell up. I tried. You know, I was a damn good wrestler in my time. Let me not sleep on it. I was a former Limitless Champion. And former ABC Tag Team Champion. Yeah, I guess there was a limit because you're not it anymore. I'm, <laughs> I'm seasoned. I don't need it anymore. But this is still hungry. I'm well fed. You are a raisin. I'm well fed. I don't need this anymore. But this is still hungry. I let me... I walk some of Theus can run. But I ain't gonna go there. No, no, yeah. no. You walk so Duke Gailey can run. Excuse me? <laughs> anyway, this match is awesome. It this is match awesome. Is solid. This and is look the at the strength. Aces do. Austin him once again. Not going to Second the top. He, he, he's smart. He knows he's probably not going to get it. Please. This is the ideal three-way dance you would want to see. The power Ooh. of Matthias. 
The high octane ability. Napalm uh, death strike. I want to know where. I want to know where Jin Kazi is. Super Mega Annihilator. You gonna go make another movie, I guess. Death Doom. Death Super Doom. Mega Annihilator. Annihilator. Death Doom. Over the cover. One. One. Two. Oh, oh, that was oh. really close. Oh, we've seen close. the Death Doom twice. Wait, wait, Jin's in the race. Out of nowhere. Ooh. Oh, now Matthias is no, out. Oh, Jin's going right at the table. He's trying to really break Matthias out of here. We want tables. Usually when he does this, he does the Tempest from outside to the... Well, I don't know if Jin at that age should be doing a Tempest from the damn outside. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, it's me oh, what's he going for? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. That's going for. What is this? Wait a minute, a lifting... Oh, a oh, lifting reverse DDT! Holy shit, holy shit. Hey, my fist is neck holy colliding. Shit. Holy shit. That reverse they killed him. 16, reverse bloody Sunday, whatever you want to call Mathias it. Matthias is out of this match. <laughs> Most definitely. Now we're going to see the one on one dream match everybody's wanted to see. Well, remember, we already have four. The dream rematch. I'll give you the dream, the dream rematch. rematch. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, is that shooter? Reverse sharpshooter. Inverted. Oh, no. Matthias getting out of that rather quickly. Matthias even Matsuda. Matsuda. I'm sorry. They both start with M-A-T. Nah, they do. Yeah. Oh, he might be going for a second sword and blade. This time on Jin. Oh, Jin oh. ducking under. Not letting him hit it. Oh, duck. What was that? Oh, no. Misdirection. Wait a minute. Soft up that neck with another neck breaker. If you oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. oh they decided oh, okay, against okay. it. Okay. We all know that's brainboard okay. uppercut. That was going to be a show you can. He's done it before. No, so it Sometimes not always successful, but if he yeah, does, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it against uh, Soto. Yeah, yeah. That I, I had flashbacks there for a second. Yeah, I did too. Wait a minute, strong win. Strong win. Strong win. Strong win! Oh, oh, it. That's it. There it is. Don't oh, fit on a rock. Oh, oh. What? That rope saved. That Matsuda. rope that saved Matsuda. There's a lot of rope breaks in this match. We need people to start doing it in the ring, in the middle of the ring, guys. Just heat of the moment. Hey, not thinking. A new, a, a new rule for map-based combat. No rope breaks in tr and three-way dances. Yeah, that much true. <clears throat> Damn! I wish. Heavy hip toss. Now, so far we've seen each man hit the finisher one time and nobody has put each other down just yet. Ooh. Uh, no, Matthias hit it twice. He hit it on Kaze and Matsu. Oh, yeah, you're right. He, he did it hit it twice. twice. I forgot, Jin was in the ring for the first attempt and basically broke it up like an immediate. Jin like literally waited on the outside from the hit it just to break it up. <laughs> yep. Jin didn't even want to give him the idea that he was going to win that match at the point. At, th at this point, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think the saving grace for Matsuda is to hit the hidden dagger. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh, that takes bro, many baby. men out. Uh oh. Oh, diving clothesline. Oh. Had to hit it this time. The last two times he ain't connect with it. He did not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, remember, Matsu Tanaka, he started off as a junior, so he has that ability. If he wants to fly, he can. He just doesn't. Yes, he does. That dual combination that he has. Yeah, he built up some whip, but much like Tsukikaze, he still has that ability. Double Ooh. axe here again. Shades of Shingakito. Currently used by Shina. Now, Jin Kaze. Yep. Shina was trained by uh, Shingakito. Absolutely. Find the rope. Oh, baby, let's oh. arm Lariat there. There we go, Lariat. Here the we go, arm. we got a triangle arm bar. Hey, this time, nowhere near the rope. Smart man. But you don't see Matsu to do submissions too often. Oh, we got it. He's struggling, he's struggling. You don't see Matsu do submissions too often. Oh, he was let go. He, was, he, was, he did it for taunting, he did it for taunting. Yeah, you're probably right about, about that, that one. It's definitely <laughs> not really his element. Oh, oh! I'm going to each other. Yeah, I'm going to there. Yeah, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Oh, oh. Slam. oh. Into a corkscrew elbow. Definitely a trademark Jin Kaze move there. Might be setting up for that straw win again. This time away from the rope, again. hopefully. Oh. Straw win! Picture puzzle. I think the foot on the rope by the name. Yeah, go. there's foot on the rope oh, again. Oh, another rope break. Really, really a rope break. Well, I see that Matsuda is making sure every time he kind of rolls towards the rope in the Kicked middle in of the that. face. It's you smart. get a rope break. You get a rope break. 
Gotta rope give Moxie the credit. Rope break to the Suplex uh, City. We got rope breaks. Yeah. Rope Matsuda, I would aim for the legs. The more you aim for the legs, the less he'll hit the strong wind. That is very true. I don't think Matsuda's really thinking about that. It's, I mean, listen, that, the knee pad is literally red. If I were him, I would definitely target that knee. Yeah. I'd be going for the Ushigaroshi. 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 Ooh. Need to, oh. Oh. He got back up. up. Oh, Jim with the counter. Oh, he missed. He missed that head scissor. Oh, big elbow right to the face. Jen Kaze. Now, Jen aiming at the leg. Well, Jen also has the well, without his leg. With, without his legs, he can't lift up. Oh, there's a Jen Kaze uh, slap to the face. Wait a minute, Jen. That power driver? Yep, that butterfly power driver. Butterfly power driver. Change. That, yeah, I almost forgot the name. The winds of change. Oh, here we go. Oh, go for a third time. Here it is, though. What? Oh, no oh, way! Strong way! Strong way from Matthias! One! Two! Oh, Jack oh, XO! That was three. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. No way. Wait, what? Super back at Let's go! Let's go! What? One! Two! Two. Oh, oh, Matthias kicks oh, out! Oh, how's that? You are not gonna that? be Matthias with the Wait a minute, no, Jen! Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, wait a minute! Solace, man! Oh, holy, holy shit! Holy shit! Holy One, shit! One! Two! Oh, and he oh, kicks oh, out! Oh, this is oh, awesome. This is awesome. Matthias going immediately for the pin. Don't jump at a knee to the face! The ref's down! Oh, referee's down! The referee is down! That was a three count! Jen won this match! Well, he should have won this. Oh, it's a Gary. God damn, what a sequence. Each man hitting out. each other's finishing move on each other. Okay. What is going to come with this? Wait a minute, Jen Kazi, body scissors. Nope, that body scissors go up did not work. All three men back into play here. Matthias, he says bring it on. He's just watching this. He's, he's confident in himself. That little dance he did, I love it. Oh, gee, oh, Matua, I did nothing. Oh, Mathias Mathi is unfazed. I love it. Oh, now he's phased. There we go. We spoke too soon. Matua up to oh, his feet good. now. Hip -hop. Now there's Matua. Only man the standing in the ring. Clash of the Tanaka. Or the Tanaka yeah, clash out of one. Tanaka oh, clash. Oh, oh, oh. For the pin. Oh, one. 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 Two. 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 Oh, and I kick no. out. The clash of the Tanaka did not put him down. Wait a minute, Matsuda! Oh, suicide dive to Jinkaze! There we go, Back into the ring! Down. Immediate follow-up from Matsuda Tanaka. We love to see it. Oh. Jen's just kind of waiting. Out. He's like, ah, I'm going to take my time. Oh, wait, here's the beats. One, two, two three. Jinchak gets some punches himself. Four, five, six, He's running in. No, wait, wait, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Yeah. That was a fair. Now Jim Kaze deal with some kicks. One, two, three, Kick to the head. Kick. Wait a minute, Matsuda. Oh. Wait, no. Super Mega Adam on a Jin? Super Mega Adam less than a death oh, 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 oh. One, two. Ah, oh, oh, broken oh, up by Matthias. Uh, what a insane match you're seeing right now. Put on Mighty Stream in. The death boom. He's done the death boom. One, Why? two, three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Oh, ten. ten. There you go. Ten. Oh, yeah. J oh, Jin. Again, Matthias is a thumb phase. Like, eh. <laughs> oh, wait, Jin's up to his feet. Damn. Waffled him. That's that flat ladder. Beautiful. One, yeah, flat two, two. Jen kicks out. Uh, Jen's up to his feet. It's a Gary. Wait, Matthias up to his feet. Let's get back up. Uh, uh, Jen, don't do it. Wait, here we go. Here it is. The Super it's Mega and a lesson Annihilator. Oh, wait, Jen gets out of it. No. German suplex. <laughs> they love to see it. The German. Wait a minute. Matsuda. That bit. Uh. Roll up. One, two, <laughs> broken up by Matthias. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. Let's pin up Matthias. Matsuda at the side. Oh. One, broken up Jin. by Jin. One, no, Jin. 
This yeah, is awesome. This oh, is awesome. Jeez. That kick. May not have had the hottest start. Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay, what thank god. I thought what that was gonna hit really bad. badly. Matsuda, oh my god. Oh, I don't know why. I think he was going for it. No, I think it's Matsuda. If he would have assisted, that would have been the crazy end for Mats for Matthias there. Yeah, that would have been awesome. That would have been a great double team. Ooh. Oh, there's a knee. Not quite the strong oh. win. He almost didn't get it. Matsuda nice and Jin battling it out in the middle of this ring right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See. See. Oh, oh, see, 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 see. Ooh. Check that back. Get that back. If you get that back to the neck and you hit the strong win, game over. You can pop that neck off. Yeah, yeah, he is. It's time to recuperate on the outside of the ring here. Back in the ring. Oh, strong win. Oh, Ooh. Holy shit. I don't know shit. Matthias is out. Matthias is out. That body count might turn into two by the end of this match. Yeah. <laughs> Matsuda has Jin on the top rope. What is this? Superplex. Oh, Wait a minute. God. He's not done. He's not uh, done. Oh. Hit a dagger. Oh, my God. That's it. Oh, That's it. There it is. One, One two, two, three. Dodge it kicks oh. out. What the hell? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. He's getting check up to his feet. Wait a minute, we know what this is. For Swords. Blade. There you go. That's got to be it. Baby. One. One. Two. Two. Three. And Matsuda gets the win. Matsuda pinning the hometown hero. You deserve it. Matsuda. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. But Jin Kaze. Had one left, one win left in, and pun intended. And what a phenomenal match. So, ladies and gentlemen, we had a great show here, but there's another great show coming up that you must know about, and that is Matt Base Combat Presents Matt Base Combat USA. Episode you 1 see, coming you your see. way very soon. Let's take a look at the match card real quick. To a theater new year. Look at this. You. We got Felix Ashwood of Gay Ass going one on one with a Matthias Metalhead in a qualifier match for the New Order Sports North American Championship. Yeah. Two goats. Look at this. We got a single spar match. A new young line appears as Kutaro Metalhead takes on the never open weight champion, Bad Roy Bradshaw. Big, sweaty man. Another North American Championship qualifying match. Sukan Kaze goes one on one with the junior heavyweight champion. Karoshiono, and in the oh, main nice. event of the evening, another three-way match for the Wonderway Championship as Piper defends against Kitsuya and Shayna. And, and that is going to be a crazy one, ladies and gentlemen. That was Matt Base Combat Homecoming. What a fucking night! Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Suplex, Alex, Dane, Alejandro. We all thank you for tuning in to Map Base Combat Homecoming. And we will see you all soon for Map Base Combat USA. Peace out, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye.